Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today is Wednesday, January 27th. Don't forget our runner strategy class is gonna be taught live this Thursday, 4 p.m. Central. Uh, you should have received an email to sign up, save your spot, make sure you're there live. It's gonna be a great event and we got some goodies, goodies to give out if you're there live. Uh, all right, so let's check out the day trades for the day. Only one mighty 90 and a little scratch in Disney. This one went against us and when it got down, it gave us a couple favorable bars. We just got out for basically a scratch for 20 bucks. Uh, on the runner front, went three for three, excuse me, three and three, three out of six. Uh, had a small loser in Apple, nice winner in Airbnb. Uh, biggest loser is in Dash. Neo plus 527, Nick. Nicola plus 470 and target minus 115. So let's show you what happened here. Let's start with uh, Disney on the mighty 90 trade. Expand this so you can see it a little better here. So in Disney, uh, it had this initial flush here and on this bounce got a little, little bit of volume here. And so we got short right up here near this pivot, started to roll over. I was a tick away from getting out of half my contracts down here just didn't quite touch it. Pushed up on me, held, held, held. When it came down and gave us these two red bars, we just got out right here for a little scratch. Uh, let's see. On to the runners, starting with Apple. Apple, this was a losing trade. We got, uh, we had this situation where Apple initially flushed lower into negative territory, bounced all the way back up positive, started consolidating in positive uh, territory. Uh, right near the high of the day. We got long about right here, and we're looking for a continuation higher. Never happened, just flushed down. We cut our losses pretty quick for a small loser, minus 120. Airbnb traded a lot of what I call kind of second or third tier type stocks today, but uh, as you saw, there's only one mighty 90. We missed a big one in Roku, but uh, really wasn't a lot of mighty 90 opportunities. Uh, so we ended up taking a lot of runners and some of these some of these stocks uh, that that aren't my favorite to trade, but some of them worked out. Some of them like DoorDash did not, which I'll show you. Uh, but here's one that did work out: Airbnb plus 550 on this trade. So had this big volume spike right here. So we're waiting for a little pullback. Got long right here. Nice push. Got out of half of it here, and then as it pushed up, pushed up, pushed up, ended up getting out of the rest right here for a nice profit in Airbnb. Uh, let's go to DoorDash. This was our nemesis today. Uh, and, and this was, honestly, this was a sloppy setup. I, you know, it, obviously kind of notice it in hindsight. Uh, don't, doesn't always, when you're in the heat of battle, <laughs> entering, entering and closing trades, you know, you got to think quick and make quick decisions. And this was really, I, I would classify it as a poor decision on my, bat, on my part. But had this big volume spike here. So we were looking for a pullback to get long. Now what happened is we got another big volume spike on the downside, and so that really should have canceled it out. We, sh we shouldn't have probably entered, but anyway, we got in, and this thing just bled, 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 bled. I, I was to a point where, you know, we had a nice P&L on the day. This was a, a loser. I only got in with, with one contract here and then another one right here, so it was super small, but it still accumulated to a $920 loss because the options A are pretty expensive, and B, that's a pretty sizable move. Uh, once we got a little bit of a bounce right here, I just closed out and took that loss. Obviously, uh, you can see what happened afterwards. This thing popped higher. I could have got out for a break even on the trade or, or, or pretty close. Some of the folks in the live stream did hold on and benefited from that. Some came out with a positive P&L. Uh, but anyway, took a loss for me. And DoorDash, the other thing about DoorDash is, it, you know, just recently IPO'd. The market makers are still trying to find the price in there, so the options are pretty wide. Not as liquid as I usually trade. I think this was a little bit forced because there weren't a lot of opportunities available, and this thing was really moving. Uh, so I was looking for a potential. And that is a nice move with a nice volume spike. And so a lot of times you will get that continuation. But like I said, it should have been kind of canceled out with that one there. Um, and we'll, we'll clarify exactly what that means on the runner class tomorrow. So make sure you're there. We'll talk about these setups. Uh, let's see next. Neo, another nice winner in Neo. So in this one, I mean, look at this. Here's the first volume bar, which is typically the highest of the day a lot of times. And then here's the second volume bar, just massive. So we were looking for a pullback to get long. Uh, sat through a bunch of chop. We were pretty close to just bailing uh, when it got down here. Gave it, gave it time. You don't want to bail too early. 
and then it started to bounce and then it bounced some more and then it bounced some more and we we got out for a nice profit of 527 i held my last little uh like one or two contracts uh, I, was, I was trying to get get a exit up here at this pivot never quite got there when it started to roll over ended up closing out the last piece but still had a nice winner of plus 527 uh nicola plus 470 on this one another nice runner uh big push up big volume bar here waited for a pullback got long and rode this thing up uh, to about here or here i think either here or here i got out of my last ones uh, obviously there's a lot more meat on that bone uh, I, I i held on i was either going to hold on to a piece of nicola or a piece of neo both are ev vehicle stocks obviously uh, clearly Nicola would have been the one to hold on to, but you don't know that in advance. So still booked a nice winner plus 470. And then lastly, Target. Uh, we don't trade Target too much, but, uh, look like a good potential runner opportunity in Target on this initial flush down. We were waiting for a bounce, waiting for a bounce, waiting for a bounce to get short. Finally got in right here, got a little bit of a rollover and got out of half. Or actually, I got out of a third of my position. I was looking for more to get out, and it just never did that. It just pushed up, and so I just cut out quick. Took a small loss of 115. So plus 412 on the day, uh, so not too shabby. Uh, third green day this week in a row, so I'll take that. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. We'll be streaming live Thursday and Friday, so look forward to seeing you then. Cheers.